When we have an x squared term in our equation, the line is no longer a straight line. In this case, it's a quadratic. Since it's raised to the power of 2, we expect the graph to look like a parabola. When we graph it, it will look something like this. In this video, I will be showing you how to find the turning point and then graphing the equation by finding a list of x and y values from a table. So let's begin. The, the turning points can be found by looking at this term over here, the x squared. What you want to do is equate this to 0 and solve for x. So in this case, take the square root of both sides, we'll be left with x equals the square root of 0, which is 0. And then you substitute this back into the equation. So you have y equals to 0 squared plus 1 equals to just 1. So our turning point is at x equals to 0 and y equals to 1. On the parabola, this would be our turning point. Basically, when the when the parabola starts turning in the opposite direction. So on our graph, this would be located 0, 1. The reason I found the turning point is because if we find the values for one side of the parabola, say this, this side over here, we can just reflect this onto the other side, saving us some time. Let's create a table. We have our x values here and our y values here. When x equals to 1, in our equation, y would be 1 squared plus 1, so that would be 2. When x equals to 2, we have y equals to 2 squared plus 1, which is 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5. On our graph, this would be when x equals to 1, y equals to 2. When x equals to 2, y equals 5. So as you can see, the parabola is starting to take shape on one side already. And since we found the turning point of the parabola, we can just reflect the points onto the other side of the y-axis. So we'll look like this, and we'll look like this. 